Dr. Assisi Namini, what, what's on your mind now? Uh, this is the date three, uh, and more information is becoming available, but I don't believe it's changing the way that we should be approaching to find out exactly what were the cause or causes of the collapse. And uh, there is a report that uh, there was a leakage in the pool, the waterproofing element was damaged and then the water got into the foundations. And I think it's natural anytime a piece of information becomes available, people to say, that's it. There was a report that uh, the ground in this area was settling down about two to three millimeters per year now. That's a very important fact. Uh, but we cannot really at this point conclude that that was the cause. Then there was a report, this report that there was a construction activity was going on the top of the building. So uh, it's a yeah, natural tendency to say, oh, that was the cause of it. Uh, so that's why we have to give time to the investigators to look, look at all the information that's available and uh, put the, these different pieces of the puzzle together and do all the analysis that's necessary and come up with the reason why this building basically collapsed. I think at the end of the day you're going to find out it wasn't just a one factor, it was many factors that played a role in the collapse of this thing. And in my professional life, what I have seen, it, that's always the case. It's not just one factor, there's several factors that goes hand in hand. But I have a very strong opinion that I think we need to do a better job of inspections. Now, what I understand is that this building was going through the recertification after 40 years. 40 years to inspect structurally, that's way too long. Uh, you don't wait 40 years to go to the doctor to see what's wrong. You don't wait uh, 40 years uh, to check the oil in your car. And you know what, what can happen if you wait that long. Uh, in the case of uh, some other structures that we have, we inspect them once every two years. Now, that doesn't mean that we have to inspect uh, every high-rise building once every two years. Uh, but I think we, we can do some minimal inspection, maybe every five or ten years, and then one very complete inspection, which is electrical and everything else, once maybe every 25 years, 30 years, or whatever it is. But, and if you inspect these buildings, let's say structurally, look at the foundations, look at the columns, look at if there is any signs of a corrosion activity in the major element of the buildings. If you do that, let's say every five years or 10 years, then you will have a reference point. Then you'll say, you know, five years ago, I had so much damage to my building, Ten months, five years later, I have, or ten years later, I have, that has progress. And if something is concerning, then you can take a timely action. And that, I think, that's what the uh, procedure should be. I, I, I've got a feeling that I think uh, this collapse is going to result into some changes, even in our design building code, uh, in the way we construct, maybe, and the way we expect that more than anything else. But the main message I think right now is that let's, uh, let's not hurry, let's not jump to the conclusion. The investigators, uh, they, have, they have not done anything similar to this exactly, but there has been other collapses. So there's a general roadmap on what you do. Uh, you look at every piece of the evidence as you piece together, and then you complete the story, and then from there, then you decide that, okay, what the cause is, what the causes are, and then the next step is, okay, what lesson do we learn, and then what should we do differently in the future so something like that doesn't happen. This kind of collapse, it should not happen. And that's, unfortunately, that's how the engineering, that's how the science is, evolves. We learn from our mistakes. We don't learn from our success stories. We learn from the changes that has been incorporated, the majority of it is because of the, some of the experiences that we have seen, some of the 
experiences we have gained from the lessons we have learned from the tragic events like this.